asteroid fears NASA's last ditch system in place for Earth impact one week away exposed. This is by Callum Moore and Express UK. The scientist revealed how NASA has a last ditch system in place in the event a huge space rock is due to impact Earth in one to three weeks. This is during a planet saving warning. Yesterday it was revealed that an asteroid speeding through the space at more than 23,000 miles an hour was due to come within 0.03405 astronomical units or just 3 million miles from Earth. Asteroid 218FK5. It was first observed flying around the solar system on March 28, 2018 and giving NASA time to calculate its size, speed and trajectory later categorizing it as a near-Earth object, an NEO. But cosmic chemist Dr. Natalie Starkey has sent a dire warning to the public in her new 2018 book, Catching Stardust, explaining how the, the space agency cannot track every single piece of rock that's in the sky. In other words, they will not find everything. While those that have the ability to slip through NASA's defense will not end life on Earth, they do have the potential to wipe out cities and affect millions of people. Dr. Starkey says the way we deal with an object heading our way very much depends on how far away it is when we figure out it is a, on a collision course with Earth, what size it is and what we think it's made of. Scientists are getting quite good at detecting NEOs, particularly with the Space Guard survey by 2011, they estimate that they found around 93% of the NEA's near-Earth asteroids that are 0.6 miles in diameter or greater and are aiming to have detected 90% of the NEO's down to those that are 140 meters in diameter or greater by the year 2020. Quote, there is even a project called ATLAS Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Laser Alert System, ATLAS for short, that's designed as a late warning system searching for those sky sneaky objects that could be due to impact Earth in one to three weeks. Of course, it's unlikely we could do much about them in time to divert or destroy them, but it would allow us to instead work on evacuating and preparing the forecasted target region in the same way we would for a predicted, a predicted volcanic eruption. Dr. Starkey explained how cysts, uh, the scientists are currently working to build a better database of these objects by analyzing their trajectory. She said, for the less sneaky objects, those that announce their upcoming arrival in the near Earth region well in advance, is projects such as NOWISE, that are capable of finding out more detailed information about them, such as their diameter and uh, albedo. These are characteristics that are crucial for scientists to understand. Although the broad motion of asteroids and comets is fairly straightforward to predict, being controlled by gravity, it turns out there are some subtle non-gravitational processes that they must get a grasp of in order to predict the exact trajectory of an object within meters. It's particularly important that scientists assess the effects of these non-gravitational processes on objects that are predicted to pass very close to Earth, the so-called potentially hazardous objects, PHOs. They're defined as having an orbit, intersection, and insertion distance with respect to Earth of less than 0 0.05 AU, or about 19.5 lunar distances, and to have a magnitude of 22, a measure of their brightness, which corresponds, of course, to size. This measure is defined as the size by which an object could cause major devastation around 100 to 150 meters. That's about 400 feet. Now, as we don't know the exact shape, albedo, and composition of some of these PHOs, they must remain on the list until scientists study them in space and better refine their characteristics to calculate 
how the subtle non-gravitational phenomena will affect them and whether their orbits will intersect our planet. During the same book, Dr. Starkey claims we will one day see a life-destroying asteroid, the event similar to one that had wiped out the dinosaurs. And she said, there is a threat that we as humans could become extinct if an asteroid was to collide with Earth. The prospect of our planet experiencing a devastating, life-threatening impact by a comet or an asteroid may sound highly unlikely, but it is something that is almost certainly going to happen at some point in the future. The question is when. Dr. Starkey went on to detail why mankind needs to act now to secure a safer planet for our offspring, and nonetheless humans may not completely in the clear, are not completely in the clear. Um, she said that for those of us already here on Earth, luck seems to be on our side for now, with scientists predicting that we should be safe for at least the next 100 years, as there are known NEOs predicted to be on a direct collision course with Earth in this time. Nevertheless, she says, there's always the possibility of a random object that scientists cannot see that is lurking out there in the outer solar system in an orbit that intersects that of our Earth within the next few decades. The problem is that it's currently impossible for astronomers to track every object in the solar system, particularly the small and fast-moving ones that are on random orbits. Despite this, you may wonder why we should care about the Earth experiencing a large impact, particularly one that might not happen for more than 100 years from now. But it's not a, comfort, a comforting thought that we may have to leave behind our descendants a planet that's ill-prepared to deal with a potential cataclysm, species-killing impact for, from space, particularly if we can work together now to do something to prevent it happening. Asteroid 101955 Bennu, formerly known as 1999 RQ36, is a potentially hazardous object listed on the Century Risk Table with the second highest cumulative rating on the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale. Asteroid Bennu. Investigators have already warned the space agency that it could be devastating if they do not act. According to a study by scientist Maria Eugenia Santa Sartorio, in 1999, asteroid may uh, impact the Earth. This, this asteroid, Bennu, may impact the Earth. Dr. Sartorio warned in a report from the solar system journal Icarus that there is a good chance of the asteroid striking. She told Universe Today in 2010, the total impact probability of asteroid 1999 RQ36 can be estimated as 0 0.00092, approximately 1 in a 1,000 chance, but what is most surprising is that over half of this chance corresponds to 2,182. But like asteroids that pose a threat to life on Earth, NASA has a plan to tackle it, the space agency right now is running missions with uh, a Sirius Rex spacecraft to find out more about Bennu. The spacecraft spent two years chasing Bennu down before orbiting it for another two years and taking samples. And then in 2023, it will blast back to Earth to allow scientists from around the world to study the rock that is brought back from Bennu. The mission team is particularly interested in learning the role that asteroids like Bennu have, dark, primitive, and apparently carbon-rich, that may have played in creating life on Earth. It also helps scientists to redefine the odds of a strike on our planet. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight 
on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.